Do you sometimes find it difficult speaking up when in a large gathering of people, even when you do know most of them? Or do you prefer to spend most of your time by yourself, reflecting on past events or planning for the future? If you answered yes to these questions, then you are most probably an introvert and I'm sure you definitely relate to the content of this video. I'm an introvert myself. I'm usually quite reserved and tend to get lost in my thoughts most of the time. I prefer to spend most of my time reading or playing video games. Now don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the company of other people very much. It's just that I like to spend more of my time in reflection and introspection. Now let's take a look at the definition of an introvert. The Cambridge Dictionary defines an introvert as someone who is shy, quiet, and prefers to spend more time alone than interacting with others. This is in stark contrast to an extrovert who are more loud, bold, and outgoing. Qualities which are definitely associated with leadership roles. There is also a third group of people known as ambivets whose traits lie in the middle of their personality spectrum. As introverts are normally misunderstood, we are seen as proud and snobbish by some or dull and sedentary by others. Our natural predisposition to be more withdrawn leads to us being labeled as antisocial, meaning that we do not like to associate with other people. Yes, we do like to spend some of our time reading or playing our favorite video games. However, we also do like to associate with other people. We are just not as outgoing and expressive as our extrovert counterparts. Now to what I would like to discuss today. Another popular misconception about introverts is that we are not suitable for leadership roles. This is also very false and I would like to explain why. Introverts are known to be extremely analytical and creative. Certainly, the time spent alone is a contributing factor to this. In fact, the great inventor Nikola Tesla attributed many of his brilliant ideas to the times he spent alone. As a leader, one is definitely going to have, make, have to make decisions that he or she would have to think over carefully as they could have dire consequences. In, especially in situations where there is no room for error, introverts are much better suited to take decisions because of this quality they possess. Introverts also tend to be better listeners. This makes them more insightful and empathetic. The typical introvert notices things about the people and things around them which other people would not notice or would take for granted. This, their thoughtful nature allows them to address these issues in the best possible way. Introverts are extremely calm people. They do feel pressure at times but they generally have better ways of managing stress so that it's not so evident. This can be attributed to the fact that they frequently withdraw from the outside world in order to recharge emotionally and physically. As a result of this, they are generally more composed in the face of adversity. If you are in need of an example of this, look no further than Abraham Lincoln. This mental fortitude is especially important for leaders who are in very demanding positions where the ability to withstand emotional and psychological stress is of utmost importance. Introverts also do not like to micromanage their employees. Being better listeners than talkers, they do not like to impose their views upon others. Now, it is true that leaders need to supervise the work their subordinates are doing, but they also need to encourage creativity on the part of their employees in order to bring out the best in them. This is something introverts are particularly good at. But what are some weaknesses of introverts? Most introverts tend to be poor communicators. Their reclusive nature often makes it difficult for them to communicate with other people. This serves as a stumbling block in building relationships with others. They also aren't particularly great at public speaking unless they have taken time to develop these traits. Introverts are also usually afraid to speak up during discussions, even when they have the perfect contribution to make. As such, most introverts may have very bright ideas, but they will be unable to communicate them effectively to the next person 
and in the end nobody benefits in fact most of the world's leading companies such as google facebook and apple are run by introverts in order to be an effective leader even the most shy and withdrawn of introverts would have to take up some extrovert qualities most especially good communication skills this is important so that the leader can communicate instructions clearly to his or her subordinates and inspire them when they need be. Some ways in which introverts can improve their communication skills include preparing for interviews or public speaking engagements beforehand, avoiding long monotonous talk and making eye contact with the people they are speaking to. So in conclusion, Introverts need to be more bold and assertive in their interactions with other people in order to ensure that they are not bullied into taking decisions they are not comfortable with. However, they should definitely maintain their calm demeanor and their analytical and reflective behavior as it is highly beneficial to the teams they form a part of to them and to them as individuals.